This is project 23 of Hacking with Swift. Now I don't want to put you off, but this is by far the longest project in this series. Not the most complicated, but it is long, coming in almost 500 lines of code. That said, I hope it's worth it, because the end result is great. We're going to make a Fruit Ninja style game where slicing penguins is good and slicing bombs is bad. I think I must unconsciously have something against penguins. Anyway, in this project, you're going to meet SK Shape Node and AV Audio Player. You're going to create SK Action Groups. You're going to create Shape with UI Bezier Path and more. So it's a usual recipe. Make something cool and learn at the same time. Still here? Awesome. We've got lots to do. Let's go straight to Xcode. Choose Create New Xcode Project. Choose iOS, then Game, then press Next. Call this thing Project 23, then press Next and Create Your Desktop. As always, please do the usual cleaning job, make a new empty Spracket project. That means moving actions.sks to the trash. I mean, going to get Game Scene SKS, get rid of Hello World, changing its size to be 1024768 with anchor point 00, zero to the bottom left corner. Get rid of all the code from gamescene.swift. That means get rid of gameplay kit. It means get rid of these two properties. And then get rid of everything inside uh, the code here, all of it basically down to the end of the file. So just an empty did move to view like that. Next, please download the files for this project from GitHub. They're at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I have them already on my desktop. I'll go to find it down here, look for Hacking with Swift, open up Project 23 files, and it's content folder. There's a variety of things in here, uh, some sounds and some pictures. The sounds, uh, there's CAF files here, here, and here, plus swoosh one, two, and three, whack and wrong, uh, plus the particle systems, these at the bottom here, slice fuse, slice hit bomb, and slice hit enemy. These things, I want you to drag into your project directly. So I'll drag them here below info plist, like that, finish. And for assets.assets, these things here, I'm going to uh, drag in penguin down to spark, like that, into my assets .xa assets file, like that. Now, please, again, force the app so it runs only in landscape iPads. I choose devices uh, from universal to iPad, then deselect portrait and upside down. As a reminder, I highly recommend use a real device for this project, or if you must, use the lowest spec iPad in the simulator. 